Here's a quick video on how to put some USB ports on a CAN Smart. So there it is in the bike. Um, I'm only using two of the pigtails, so one going off to the rear rear light, uh, and also got one going off to the front light, which leaves me with an extra two. Um, so I'm going to connect directly onto this rather than battery, because then it's sort of a switch live straight away, uh, and also I don't have to have the switch. The plan is USB is under here, external battery pack, and I can charge that while I'm riding, uh, and then later on charge the phone off from that. So what you can do is online, so you buy these spare pigtails, and so here's one as you can see, it's got the different colours there, so you can use it to run off a light. If you just want the, the on off, then you should look in at the red and black. And because the bike is 12 volts, what's going to be coming out at the end of this is 12 volts. Um, what you're going to need to do to drop it down to 5 volts for your phone, or for your battery pack or anything like that, is a little transformer. So here's one, so I got one which just came with the, the red and black wire as the in, and the out you can see we've got two USB ports so now all that I need to do is plug in the pigtail so it means if I don't want it I can have it unplugged really easily that's now in there and then what I can do so here's my external battery I can plug that in either of the USB ports and that is now going to and that is now going to be part of the switched line so if I turn the ignition on for the bike you can see that's now started to charge, the lights are on there and that is flashing to say that it is charging. Simple as that, so now what I'd do is just have that in the bag tucked under the seat and as I say that will be charging throughout the day then in the evening I can take it out and charge my phone. Also gives me another port there so I can use that to put directly link up a camera if I've got a camera on the bike or also charge up something else or potentially just run it through and get a USB somewhere else on the bike. And there you go, so that's a really quick way of doing it. So um, I didn't do any soldering for this connection. So all I've done is connected red to red and black to black. So the yellow I've completely left out because um, we don't need that at all. Um, so what I did is just expose ends of the wire, fold them up, twist them together. Uh, and then put some this shrink wrap, so shrink wrap the red by itself, shrink wrap the black by itself, and then shrink wrap all of them together. And it's given us a really nice, nice finish. Um, yeah, and there we go. So I say that's a quick, quick way of doing it. Uh, and then on the CanSmart system, what you want to do, so this is the blue, blue one I've gone for. So on the system, you'll just switch that and tell it it's, it's an accessory. So just, just like this video now, you can see, tell it, switch it to an accessory. You can set the delay on how long you want it to stay on. But yeah, that's it, really simple. Uh, and now if I don't want it, really easy to unplug. Just can slide straight off. Um, and yeah, and then in the future, if I want to add some more lights on, I can still use those those ports. So it's a really clean way of, of adding it on. Uh, Cost-wise, yeah, nice, cheap, under under £10. So pretty much about £4 for the pigtail and then about 4 or £5 for the, the transformer. And that is it.